Hey there guys, I'm Mr. Warren here and today I'm just going to ask you all not to sign subscribe to me, Club Trigger UK. Just my new channel, I upload everything, but anyway, let's get on with it. Um, as you can see, I have two buttons here for you. I have a light and an XOR gate. Now, the XOR gate, I haven't actually found much use for it while creating, well, for personal, from a personal view, I haven't used it that much. But basically what we're going to do is connect two wires, so you can have as many as you want, just like last time, so you can have as many inputs as you like, but I'm going to have two for the demonstration. Now we'll connect the output to the LED bulb, or the light, whatever you want to call it. So, what this basically means is, if one of these inputs is enabled, it'll work, but if both are on, it won't work. Demonstration. I press here, it works. I press here, it works. But if I press both, it won't work. It'll basically think it's off, so none of these are on when both are on. It can only have one. And you can do that with as many inputs as you like. So let's quickly do another one, just for a demonstration. Uh, glue that down. So if I press this one, or this one, or this one, it'll light up. But if I press two of them, it won't work. Or if I press this one, it won't work. So, it's kind of useful. Um, I don't find myself using it that much. I usually, usually use an AND gate in another complicated way, which I don't know why I should use this method, but anyway, if this helps you, thanks for watching. I'm the Mr. Morrow, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.